um, I am an insignificant person. Um, I, I, I there's there's not much that I can I can share. Um, but as far as pastimes are concerned, there are two standout incidents that uh, I would like to share with the world about the glories of Shri Jai Pataka Maharaj. I remember when I was about um, five or six years old in 1997, um, we as a family went to uh, Iskon Vrindavan, and uh, the, the 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 visit to the dham, the the appreciation of the holy abode of the dham was something very um, very new, something that being completely new to Krishna consciousness, we were not aware of uh, how the etiquette should be in the dham. So I remember we went to Vrindavan Dham thinking, yes, it is, it's a holy place. And, <laughs> but no realization or, or, or um, you know, scriptural perspective and understanding about how to appreciate the Dham. And as soon as we entered Krishna Balaram Mandir, um, under the Tamal tree that exists in the courtyard of the temple, was this really, really tall, um, effulgent, spiritually um, dazzling personality sitting there with his um, monarch stick and he was chanting Japa with those big beads and we had no clue you know, but, but I remember we as a family when we saw we were really amazed um, we were amazed at just, just the personality and as soon as we looked at this wonderful personality which was Srila Jayapata Kamaraj uh, Maharaj looked at us and he smiled and, and he called us like close and we went close by and Maharaj got up with folded palms and he said you are coming to the dham you seem to be new please tell me how may I serve you I am your servant please tell me how I can assist you and we were completely shocked to see here is a you know a, a saffron clad sannyasi who has dedicated his life in the renounced order for preaching the message of the Lord and we are, you know, as we still are, a bunch of neophytes. Um, so we were just looking at each other, not knowing the answer. And, and, and we just told Maharaj, we are, we are new to Vrindavan and we have never come here. And, and, and Maharaj connected us to devotees and made sure that our stay in Vrindavan and our traveling in Vrindavan was all very, very peaceful. Um, the same thing happened even in Mayapur. When we went in '97, um, by Maharaj's uh, arrangement, devotees who were dear disciples of Srila Jayapata Kamaraj took us around for Navadvip Mandal Parikrama, Gaur Mandal Parikrama, and we saw these beautiful, beautiful places. And I remember one devotee called Brajanath Prabhu, um, who, whom we met at that point, who was um, one of the members in the Dham Sevak office. And uh, we were so inspired by the way he narrated the past times of these places. And we asked him that, you know, whose disciple are you and what's inspiring you to do this service? And he folded his palms and he said, I am the servant of His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj. And it is by Maharaj's instruction and mercy that I am living in the Dham, um, taking devotees for Parikrama. So that name clicked for us. <laughs> we, we had a connection then that uh, Maharaj has been uh, so kind in both the dhams for us. Um, later, many years later, when we went to, uh, I think this was Damodar Desh, Dubai, or it was Sham Desh, Sharjah, one of the two places, uh, we were visiting and we got to know His Holiness Jaya Pataka Maharaj was there. So we went and met Maharaj and uh, Maharaj looked at us and uh, we said, Maharaj, our spiritual life started because of you. And uh, we got the entrance into both the dhams uh, by your kind mercy. And uh, my parents introduced themselves as uh, disciples of His Holiness Bhakti Swarup Damodar Maharaj. And Srila Jaya Pataka Maharaj smiled and he said, Oh, then you are uh, uh, connected to me. And then we were looking at Maharaj and Maharaj said, You are disciples of His Holiness Bhakti Swarup Damodar Maharaj and I am the God brother of Bhakti Swarup Damodar Maharaj. So therefore I become your spiritual uncle. Come and give me a hug. And then we all like went close to Maharaj. We fell at Maharaj's lotus feet and touched the head and then Maharaj embraced us. We felt very, very happy. So that is something that directly happened and, and, and um, experientially we witnessed as a family. 
But one of our relatives uh, had something even more sweeter that I would like to share here. Um, <clears throat> one of my relatives on the, on the father's side, uh, she was going with her family, again devotees, she was going with her family from Mumbai to Mayapur. And, um, and, and they were in, in, the, in the airport in Mumbai. And Shila Jayapataka Maharaj also was going from Mumbai to Mayapur. And in the airport, he looked at this family and they had Tilak and they were chanting and Maharaj had a big smile. And Maharaj said, so where are you going? And they said, Maharaj, we are heading to uh, Shida Mayapur. So Srila Jayapataka Maharaj smiled and he said, oh, even I am going to Shida Mayapur. So are you going uh, by the same flight to Calcutta? And it seemed that the flight were different. So Srila Jayapataka Maharaj's flight was uh, before uh, my, my relative's flight. So Srila Jayapataka Maharaj said, oh, we are going by different flights. No problem. I will go and reach uh, Calcutta first and I will wait for you. We will go together. And uh, my relatives were like, no, Maharaj, you should please proceed. We don't want to delay your, your uh, travel to Mayapur Dham. Uh, Maharaj said, no, no, that's fine. Um, I, will, I will go and I will wait and we'll see in Calcutta. So the relatives didn't know what to do and, 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 and they just smiled. And um, they thought, you know, Maharaj would go to Calcutta and then, you know, he would eventually go to Mayapur. They took the flight, reached Calcutta, and believe it or not, Srila Jayapata Maharaj was waiting at Calcutta airport for them. This, Maharaj didn't even know them. This was the first time Maharaj was seeing them in, in, in Mumbai, but he um, still agreed to wait at uh, Calcutta. This was a very big thing. And Maharaj waited for them at the, at the Calcutta airport, and they were completely shocked. They, they came to Calcutta and they said, Oh Maharaj, you're waiting. He said, Yes, I told you in Mumbai that I'm going to wait. So come, let's go to Mayapur together. And devotees were very happy. Then Maharaj said, so how are you planning to go to Mayapur? Um, so my, my relative said, uh, we'll take a taxi, Maharaj. We'll take a taxi from Calcutta. We'll go to Mayapur, a three hours drive. Srila Jayapataka Maharaj said, no, why should you take a taxi? I have a big van. Um, why don't you all go in my van? I'll go in the taxi. <laughs> this is not too much. This is, this is getting, um, you know, in, uh, inconceivably unbelievable for my, my family because Maharaj was extending his compassion so much. He said, uh, you should take my van. You should take my big van and you should go. My relative said, no, Maharaj, please, please, uh, we will take the taxi. But interestingly, uh, her son had a stomach problem. He, was, he had stomach ache and, and he said, uh, uh, you know, Mom, I can't sit in the taxi and go. I would prefer to lay down and go. And Maharaj's tax, uh, van had the, the, uh, the arrangement where you could lay down. So Maharaj said, yes, he has stomach problem, stomach ache. He should lay down and, and go in my van. And somehow Maharaj said, this is my instruction to you. You cannot disobey. So they had no option. So they went in Maharaj's van and Maharaj took a taxi. And then both went to Mayapur and, and they reached Mayapur Dham and my relative was in tears. I looked at Shila Jayapataka Maharaj and said, Maharaj, why did you do this? Maharaj smiled and he said, uh, Prabhupada instructed me to take care of Mayapur and those visiting Mayapur. So I am simply fulfilling the instruction of my spiritual master. So this pastime actually touched uh, my relatives, um, touched um, their heart and it's a very wonderful, beautiful, beautiful impression. And when they shared it with us, I thought of sharing it with the world. Um, so, thank you Srila Jayapata Kamaraj for being such a wonderful, wonderful role model and inspiration for all of us. Um, and last but not the least, I really want to thank you for your song, Jadi Prabhupadna Hoito Taveki Hoito E Jivana Bahito Kishe. Um, we sing this all the time and uh, most of the devotees have tears because we oftentimes say Jai Srila Prabhupada but uh, we don't feel it but the song actually brings in emotions. Thank you Maharaj for being such a wonderful role model. My prostrated uh, unlimited millions and millions of obeisances at your lotus feet. Srila Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj Ki Jai.